Sneak peeks are here, baby, and I have absolutely nothing of value to add to them. So instead of doing today's sneak peek in the nubs world, we are just going to do a Twitter video and a Reddit video to see the community reaction of the Brawl Talk. And honestly, I think this is the thing that I can do. Rather than just showing you the same thing that everybody else is showing you seven times over, I'm just gonna show you what everybody thinks. This is my update routine from now on. So I bookmarked some stuff that I found on my timeline. And once we're done with this, then we go on to Reddit. Brawl Star. We're not adding the Chinese server skins because it changes the brawler to the point where you can't recognize them. Also Brawl Star. I think the tick one is actually pretty unrecognizable. The Eve one shouldn't take that long for people to recognize. I mean, what are they supposed to do for Eve? I feel like her skins are kind of difficult to make, but this one is actually pretty decent. So you know what? I'll take it. The tick one though. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy but i still feel like these ones are more recognizable than the chinese server ones because those ones literally throw a galaxy at your screen so yeah brock got i think like 10 skins this update and he already has some of the most skins in the entire game so i guess i just want him to have the most by far uh he just got a skin that is literally a reskin of a current skin but you have to buy the new one because the old one is og i think this one on the right is from a brawl pass and the one on the left is like one of seven new power ranger things that he's getting i'm not a fan of this skin in the first place but i just thought this was kind of goofy and somebody agreed with me actually four thousand people did that's kind of wild all right boys this is very important marzio's cat is hyped for brawl talk normally i would have my cats watching with me but i woke up first thing in the morning and then turned it on on my tv i don't even know who was there besides my girlfriend and i just helped her create a youtube channel because she wanted to give it a try so she's very new to it as you can see she only has one video but boys we need to do the impossible let's get her to 1,000 subscribers in one one day we're probably gonna have like a hundred thousand people click on this video so if literally like 700 of you subscribe right now and watch this entire video right here all the way through just google using our five favorite brawlers click on it watch it all the way through that would be the most hype thing in the world yeah i just wanted to bring that up i thought it was forever in the game and then thankfully i saw this yeah man these things are so broken and it just proves that they do not give a single about trophies anymore they don't care trophies were inflated by uh the season reset only resetting 10 brawlers and then they were also inflated by win streaks like crazy and now i think that these mutations are only for trophy games so trophies are basically gg so if you don't play ranked or club league you are in for a world of hurt if the mode has this modifier the mutations are actually insane and game breaking so playing any brawler who doesn't have one is gg brawl talk hype aside the fact that we got another legendary brawler this early when we had kit less than five months ago scares me a little not gonna lie and i kind of agree with this one thing that i wish they would do is actually add a brawler that is a super rare or a rare we have not seen a rare i think since rosa and that was literally like three plus years ago it has been a long time so hopefully in the next update we get at least one rare and i understand that a rare brawler is like a free brawler but like Maybe at some point, rather than just giving a brawler out for free in some kind of event, just make it a rare so then the brawler can be in that rarity. So then rare is actually not stupid. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Like the rarity is a joke. There's no brawlers in it. Okay, real talk now. Fang must stop having a new skin in like every single update. There's a couple brawlers who get this treatment. When they're popular, they get it. So like Fang is getting it right now. Janet had it for a while, but then she got nerfed and nobody plays her anymore. So if Fang becomes bad, then he'll stop getting skins. But as long as literally everybody is playing him and buying his skins, they're not gonna stop. So the only way to stop this is to nerf him, which I don't know or think is gonna happen. I thought this was kind of goofy. Bro thinks he belongs on the team. I wonder if they put this here on purpose or not. I just thought this was kind of goofy. I really have nothing to add to this though. Sans just got every single mastery in Brawl Stars. This is allegedly the second player to do this. Apparently the grind was absolutely horrible. And I can only imagine, bro, you're playing like the same mode every single day for like six hours at least i think in order to try and get everything first but then somebody else also just got there before you but their account is like really sus and a lot of people think that the other one that i reviewed is fake the account itself was not fake it just looks really weird because they dropped every brawler to zero trophies i don't really understand and i'm not sure where sans lives 
but congratulations on probably getting every single mastery first in whatever country you live in. That's pretty cool. Like I said last time, this is basically beating the game because you have nothing left to do progression wise when it comes to that. Like that is the biggest thing that you can achieve in this game. And they've already got masters, masters again. It looks like the highest fame, almost 100,000 trophies, 100,000 3v3 wins. That is insane. A huge win streak. That's 420. That is insane. Like you have beat Brawl Stars. It's over. You are done. You can t literally take a vacation. You have nothing left to do. You have completed the video game. The only time you'll have something new to do is when new brawlers come out that you can master. To me, that is literally it. Like, if that was me, I would just call it there. I'm done. Ark says, uh, crazy, this is still in the game considering how absolutely broken it is and always has been. Littered with AFKs slash free win bosses slash trolls playing Cordelius slash boss Doug can just use super to come back at full health. Can we just remove it from the game and let it die already? This is one thing that makes me confused about why duels cannot be a permanent game mode, but this one can. I don't understand. I feel like nobody plays this, and if they do, they don't take it seriously. I mean, I guess having goofy things in a game is nice. To me, this isn't even goofy in a fun way. It's literally just broken. At the same time, mutations are also extremely broken. They are literally made to break the game, as I said in the title of the Brawl Talk, so maybe that's why they have this in the game still, because it's broken and people can just mess around in it. Do I think a better weekend game mode would probably be better for them to have in the game? Yeah, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. We at least are not getting it in this update, so maybe we can hope for something new related to this in the next Brawl Talk, and if not, then we gotta wait a few more months. It's not like this should really be their biggest priority anyways, but they did make it pretty obvious that they just completely forget about this game mode anytime a new Brawler comes out. They really gave eight skins to a new Brawler. <laughs> It's not enough. I never want to see Avocado Brock ever again. If you know, you know. What game mode is next? Me watching Supercell Rune, Heist, yeah, RIP that. We got Chuck, we got Melody. Me watching Supercell Rune Showdown. I don't even know why Kid is such a problem there. I mean, I guess his gadget is good. But at the point of me recording this video, the uh, first sneak peeks have actually come out so I can mention this. Kit got a nerf to his gadget, but they buffed his damage. So he's slightly better at killing people, but he cannot be invisible for as long which is breaking showdown. So slight fix potentially. When I saw Kit in the balance changes and I saw three things, I was so excited. But then uh, I realized that's not even like that much. I just want his shield. Imagine having a status effect immunity, double damage attack, 50% extra damage after a kill and permanent extra HP and still being the worst brawler in the game. Yup, he has fundamentally overpowered options here, but he is a fundamentally horrible brawler in his base kit. Out of the seven brawlers released this year, four of them are assassins. I see what you're saying. Kit is hard an assassin though everybody else yeah you see they made kit to be an assassin and then they completely removed that aspect from him so he's no longer that unless it's in solo showdown i guess like kits are teaming and assassinating people we still got melody miko and lily now also lily is just a fang clone but she also has some interesting stuff to her so we'll get into that in a future sneak peek crisis averted mutations are only a temporary event yeah no if something like mutations were permanent something that broken that would be a such a problem now the reason i don't love this brawl talk in general is because half of the content is going to be gone in like a month mutations was the biggest part of the update and it's definitely going to be really fun we're going to get so much content out of it all we're going to be able to do after that is just look back on it and it's also a little weird that it's affecting like the main game mode in brawl stars which is like trophy games because i'm not going to be able to like casually make certain videos i want to anymore but yeah let me know what you guys think about mutations do you think that they should stay for some reason or should they just stay in friendly match is like what should happen there but yeah that's gonna do it for the video if you enjoyed slap like subscribe and make sure you subscribe to mushy boo i don't know if she's even gonna watch this video so i just want to see her randomly hit 1000 i think that'll be kind of funny but yeah bye